Hey, happy day. So I wanted to point out the um, similarities between the planet Earth, Gaia, as a living organism, as a biological being in the same way you and your body is a bi biological being. So for example, um, she is feeling suffocated, Gaia, Mother Earth. If you think about the the air that she's breathing, it is very polluted. Her uh, body fluids are, so the waterways on our planet are polluted with all kinds of plasticky bits and chemical, chemicals and what have you. Uh, and the soil is, um, so our... Uh, muscles and cellular state of health like on a basic level so the soil and what comes from that is um, very poor quality uh, just because of farming methods and production methods how animals are treated how uh, they are no longer crop cycles but uh, instead mutant <laughs> um, seeds and so if you can see the earth in the same way you see your body can you start to treat her with more care and regard and in the same in the same way you value um, and place worth into what you do for your body through what you eat how you move what the water you drink or the fluids you drink and the rest you get so too does the earth operate in the same way so if we can have a consciousness of that i'm hoping i will give you some ideas on how to live a little more naturally a little more organically you don't need all those lotions and potions and cleaning products they all are made from man-made very toxic harmful chemicals um it's not a sustainable uh, the way the way that we're living is not is unsustainable and what I'm asking is, can we shift towards a more sustainable? And again, no longer just uh, sorting out your rubbish and recycling that is no longer enough. So we need to start at the beginning. So I'm going to take you to my bathroom and uh, take you through some ideas of ways you can greenify, organify, naturalize your um body care and self-care approaches okay so here we are um i have to figure out how to turn the camera around i don't know how to do that but let's do it this way so i'll just hold up so at the toilet area so anything to do with toileting some ideas are let's talk about home care um i really love pine needle essential oil uh, it's not terribly expensive i thought this is a 50 ml bottle and it's halfway through and i've had it for about a year and i use it i place a few drops in my toilet um from time to time to disinfect and sanitize it and it's got this lovely uh clean smell i also would put a few drops in my drain you can also use lemon myrtle it's a uh, it's not very good to use on the body it's quite toxic as in it uh, will cause sensitivities but um it does make uh, your environment smell good and it sanitizes refreshes then let's talk about for the females um so if you're a man you might want to skip ahead a little bit but i recommend something like a moon cup a reusable uh sustainable way of dealing with menstruation the moon cup is lovely in that uh, you've got no wastage other than your body fluids and it's also a way of um, tracking your men's the products of your body in order to give you an indication of what's going on um, I also keep these for guests that use um, sanitary wear disposable sanitary wear uh, this is a lovely bamboo range of uh, sanitary tiles. They've got really good range for day, night and panty liners. So you could, um, it's Hello Gorgeous is the,
brand name. Then let's move to um, deodorants. I really love this deodorant. It's a, uh, let me see if I can put this down. I wanted to really show you <laughs> painting my daughter Gabrielle did when she was about five. So this is the brand. I can't use any um, tea tree on my body. It's too sensitive. But it's <laughs> nearly done. So it's uh, got... Um, I love that it also comes with the scoopy thing because we should never stick our fingers in products. But uh, it's a balm pro like product, so it doesn't, it works almost like an antiperspirant. Really love this. Uh, for someone who's quite active like me, I get a bit sweaty between exercise, movement, and the work I do. This definitely uh, helps uh, contain odor. So I was unable to get more of this so I'm going to be trying this one next uh, it smells amazing it's also a bit like a, a balm um, and they don't leave white marks and they don't mark your clothing and it's a natural vegan and cruelty free and even the packaging is made out of cardboard so I love that it's going to be much more disposable it's a pure beginnings product pure beginnings a beautiful range uh, baby products very good and then um, shower gel shampoos etc then uh, from deodorant let's I've got a perfume I not a perfume but a scent I use um, I love just mixing essential oils in a little bit of base cream, aqueous cream or oil um, like sweet almond oil which absorbs very well into the skin and is very nourishing and hydrating because um, then you can create your own smell and uh, it's much more natural. So I guess a, another go to this is uh, coconut oil is your like for everything. Uh, I, you can use it to uh, mix a little bit of bicarb if you want to do tooth whitening. You can even add a little turmeric in there for, again, teeth whitening. Um, we can use it as a hair mask. Again, you can add some essential oils in, something like chamomile. Uh, soothing uh, makes a fabulous lubricant. And also, if we're massaging, it's good for skin care. It actually offers some UV protection, so it can work a little bit like a, a sunblock, so a natural sunblock. Um, be careful of citrus oils in the sun because they do make you a little more sensitive to uh, UV light. So everybody should have some coconut oil in their uh, self-care kit. Then uh, let's look at face care. I think that's the, probably the next biggest thing that certainly women and the average human will want to be dealing with because of um, external conditions, either sun, wind, elemental conditions effects. So I really love um, Dr. Hashka. I used it for a long time. It's a little pricey now for me in South Africa because it's an imported product. And I do prefer to support local businesses. Um, it has to do with um, not only community, but um, carbon footprints. So Dr. Hashka, lovely range of uh, the, I love their face what, uh, cream because it's just pure ground up almonds um, and so it's a natural way to exfoliate. You could also take oats. I sell the oat uh, tea bags and the idea is that when you've squeezed out all the milk from the in uh, oats that is infused with essential oils to soothe the skin, uh, certainly inf inflamed, irritated uh, skins and state of being, uh, you can actually use the bag to as a loofah. It's gentle enough that oat uh, bran, you can use oat bran to gently uh, exfoliate the skin. Then I'm loving, I love this brand Fighter Force. Listen, I don't uh, make any commission from any of these brands. I'm just sharing. People often comment, you know, I'm actually surprised. At 50, I see all my flaws. I mean, hello, look at all these wrinkles everywhere, loss of skin tone, starting to, I'm just like a shitstorm actually. But yet, as I go out into the world, uh, I hear the word beautiful a lot, which is 
I don't associate with that. What I'm associating with is perhaps my inner beauty is shining through. I mean, I don't wear makeup to cover or hide anything. It's just, as far as I'm concerned, this is just a bit of a disaster. But I'm working with what I have and just loving myself and accepting myself through the process. So Fighter Force, love this brand. They make amazing tinctures. They're affordable. They are local to South Africa. And then this is a sub-Saharan uh, plant and uh, the sausage tree. And very good for uh, skin. It's uh, good for um, uh, anti for marks and what have you. Good for sunspots and uh, cankerous sores. So I mix things up. You know, the body gets used to... Uh, it adjusts as we know in every way the more we abuse it the more it adjusts to that abuse the better we look after it the more it uh, shows us the benefits of treating it well then the other brand I've been enjoying is the Katavi range um, beautiful affordable available at Azico and um, yeah it's an I like oils I think oils are nourishing for the skin they don't I put, I put oil on this morning. My skin's not particularly shiny. It only gets shiny when I get my hot flashes. So that's face care, I think. Cover it. You know, it's, you can see how simple it is. Wash and moisturize. If you have to do anything that involves toning and all these other serums and preps and layerings, and yes, they're beneficial, but they're unnecessary uh, if it costs the planet anything so my request is keep it simple um it kind of works so i've also covered tooth care except that uh could i encourage you to use a biodegradable toothbrush we get a lot of bamboo products these days and they are sustainable and um we also have uh i like himalaya simply because of all the toothbrushes other than Olgami. I'm not aware of too many that actually feel most like what we've been used to, normal toothbrushing. And um, if we are going towards a more organic state of living, it's not just about what packaging the product, what the product is, but the packaging. And uh, again, what ingredients are in that product? Uh, we can do a label reading. If we're still uninformed about that, let me know. I'm happy to do a how to read um, the labels on a product as far as ingredients go I'm struggling to find one that has oh this is another one of my staples uh, that I keep around it's really lovely for anything really uh, if you get mozzy bites or I think I, I got bitten by a spider so I've been using it to treat that it got a bit uh, necrotic so I just spray it on you know if you get zits and things I spray it on and it's beautiful cuts grazes it speeds up healing but I have experienced by about 45 50% so love this product it's just actually high, uh, 3% hydrogen peroxide in distilled water so that's pretty much the sum total of my uh, what I would use on a daily basis in my morning ablutions. I don't believe in doing too much at night other than just washing the day off. I don't like to put anything on my skin because I feel like at night time it's doing all that detoxing and it's actually exercising while it's eliminating. So I don't want to do too much of the add the moisturizer. It would be a bit like if you have a thyroid problem and you and you give it the medicine to up um, its function but you don't actually treat the cause then what happens over time is you become dependent on the medicine your thyroid uh, becomes less effective because it doesn't need to so your skin is the same uh, I don't like putting anything on my body at night whilst it's going through its detox and elimination stage and then in the morning we wash that off and we uh, oh, I, what I didn't show you is perhaps some of the um, Body washes, again, same brand as deodorants. I love the feel, the smell, the lightness. And people think organic products are expensive. 
they're not because you use less and you use less products because they're less harmful they don't dry the skin out because they don't contain laurea sulfates they don't fuck with your hormones because they don't contain um uh, xenoestrogens so overall they're actually cheaper because they don't cost your health they add i'm also again pure beginnings loving this uh body wash it's a new i also love the african organics brand for body wash so again you can use clays and there are so many natural ways and if you are interested in knowing how to you can use zeolite clay to uh, as a mask bentonite clay <coughs> what i'm trying to say is that there are so many natural options you don't need to fuck up the earth to look beautiful and to appear magnificent. You can do that by being natural and authentic. And uh, these days we don't need to have personality masks because we've got uh, cloth masks. So if you want to hide, hide behind your cloth mask, we won't be able to see all the fuck ups. Anyway, it's not judgment. It's just I'm angry with people for not doing more and um, this is me doing more to encourage you to please um, consider the earth when you go shopping and when you look after yourself. It's a mutually beneficial relationship that we have and it's getting too noisy now so I'm going to end this. Thank you for listening. Namaste in the cage.